Shogun, no salutations needed. My exalted status shall not be disclosed as we travel among the common folk. I acknowledge that you are a person of superior ability. Henceforth, you will be my guard. Worry not. Should any danger arise, I shall dispose of it. Shogun, what did you call me? Shogun, are you not aware that I am the Shogun, the Raiden Shogun, the Almighty Shogun, Her Excellency the Narukami Ogosho God of Thunder? Why would you call me Mother? Shogun, you are not the first to treat me with the familiarity of a parent, but you are the first one to be this unreserved about it. If you must know, I have already given a strict identity, and it is the Shogun. You shall address my by my title or name, not Mother. Eh, hey, you, I... Fine, I give you my permission for you and only you. Understood? Eh, hey, hmm. You have no idea how much I'm holding back from giving you the most bone-crushing hug. Hello, traveler. Call me Yelan. I think you may need my help, and I just so happen to be interested in some information you have. In other words, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Hmm, what's that? You're calling me mother. <sighs> my my, and what makes you call me that? You're a cute kid. Alright, call me mother all you like. <sighs> I like the sound of that. You know what I'd like more though? The information you have. You know you have something I'm interested in. So what are you waiting for? Gimme. I am Kujo Sara. You may forget my name but this you must know. On my watch, Inazuma will always be defended, and the will of the Shogun will always be done. Deity or demon, if you make an enemy of me, you will be struck down. Oh hem. Don't be so nervous. I have agreed to fight by your side, and I will honor that commitment. I may be uncompromising on matters of great importance, but on most other things, you will find me quite easygoing. Eh? What did you call me? Did you... just call me... mother? I'm... surprised. I must admit, when I first heard you say it I thought you were making fun of me. But the fact you're doubling down on it. I chuckle, looking you over my my, aren't you cheeky? I laugh, patting your head. There's no need to apologize. I don't mind. It just surprises me a little, that's all. To see how easily you're comfortable enough to call me mother. So, she got up from the chair she was sitting on before turning her gaze towards you. To whom do I owe the pleasure of being visited? She slowly walked closer towards you, a smirk on her face upon hearing the word. It has been a while since I've last been referred to as mother. How I've missed that. She stopped right in front of you, a hand being placed on your head as she ruffled your hair. Of course not, little one. If anything, you did the opposite. Her smile grew wider before tilting her head to the side, such a good child, aren't you? No lies to your mother? She lets go of your chin as she moved her hand down to gently pinch your cheek. Good. I would punish you dearly if you were ever to lie to me, little one. I am the Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. The purpose of my visit is to monitor your every move, for such is the order of the shrine. Oh come on, don't be so nervous. It's only official ease for goodness sake. I couldn't just go gallivanting around for no reason at all, could I? Now come on, do something amusing for me. Did I hear that right? Calling me mother? Ha! Huh. There's no need to flatter me, I can see you want something from me. Hmm. Well, I don't dislike it. Keep calling me mother, got it? I hope you aren't expecting me to pamper you, though. Now that's a good kid. What is it that you want, hmm? And don't ask for anything silly, mind. You want? You're too shy to say it out aloud? Haha, <laughs> don't be. Go on, speak up. You want a car? My, my. Your tastes are expensive, aren't they? Hmm, all right then. Just for you, I'll have one delivered. 
Hello, traveler. I am Zhongli, a consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Yes, I once called her that too. She was the only woman who could keep up with me and more often than not surpassed me intellectually. We ruled together over Li Yue and were like an old married couple. Guizong. But our days of prosperity wouldn't last long. 